Hi, and welcome to Parent University. My name is Amber Ammon, and I'm the K-6 Curriculum and Assessment Coordinator here at Collegium Charter School. In this video segment, we're going to be talking about the ELA Common Core and the Units of Study program that we implement here at Collegium Charter School. So in March of 2014, Chapter 4 mandated that all public schools implement the PA Common Core. For Collegium, we decided to look at the Units of Study program for reading and for writing. With the implementation of the PA Common Core, it meant that 50% of the literature that students were to read is to be nonfiction, while the other 50% is to be fiction. This was a big change when we used to rely heavily on fictional books. Another change related to Common Core is the fact in the focus of academic vocabulary and having students transfer what they're reading into their everyday life. So now we're going to take a step into some 5th and 6th grade classrooms to see the Units of Study Reading and Writing program in action, and we're also going to hear from those teachers teaching the program. Hi, I'm Dan Folks, 5th grade teacher here at Collegian Charter School. Uh, I'm here to talk about Lucy Calkins and the Units of Study. The Units of Study Reading and Writing program addresses the PA Common Core Standards. First off, there's flexibility. The program allows teachers to teach the standards, skills, and competencies, reassess for students, and allow for reteaching or revisiting of skills at a later time. It is not a one and done method. And then there's balance. Since the PA core standards call for 50% of the reading students to be done nonfiction, any study program provides a balance of both fiction and nonfiction choices. It allows for multiple opportunities with a variety of texts for students to be able to reach to the standards and go in depth with them. It also allows choice. The program allows for choice, especially during independent reading times. Students are able to choose books based on interest and readiness, all the while keeping it at an independent reading level for themselves. And then there's transfer of skills. The Use of Study program allows students to take the skills and strategies they have learned about while reading and apply it to writing and vice versa. This ensures students at all learning levels are able to get concrete practice and application of skills. Hi, I'm Mrs. Brady, and I'm a sixth grade teacher here at Collegium Charter School. There are many components to the Units of Study program. The first component is where we do our mini lesson. And in the mini lesson, I model the skill or concept that the students are going to learn and going to practice throughout the day. Next, we move into the active engagement part. This is where the students will take the concept that I teach them and they will go practice it, whether it be in the book clubs that they're working in, in small groups, or if they do their independent reading with their independent reading book. While the students are in either their book clubs or in their independent reading groups, I walk around for about 30 minutes or so and I meet with them individually. We conference on their independent reading, we conference on the book that they're reading in their book clubs, and we discuss the different facets of what we're learning in class, as well as we really hone in on that skill or concept that we're teaching for the day. I'm always mindful to be sure that we leave a few minutes at the end of class so that we can share what we've learned. The students love this part. They love being able to get up. They enjoy sharing with their class as well as sharing what they've learned from each other when they're working within their book club groups. I truly believe that the units of study really allows the students to gain a deeper understanding of the books that they're reading. Rather than the teacher just being able to give them a book and have them read a book that I'm telling them to read, they get to choose a book on their independent reading level. And having that choice to read really does allow them to be able to make connections to themselves as well as to make connections to the world that's around them. It also allows the students to be able to work together within their groups and have positive communication going back and forth. What I've noticed in my class is that it, it really allows them to be able to have debates and to be able to actively participate with their peers when they're discussing the books. And the best is when you have that student that comes in and acts as that devil's advocate that really starts that discussion of back and forth with the students about the characters, about the settings, and how they really understand what that book is. Thank you for taking the time today to watch our video on the ELA Common Core and the Units of Study program. 
If you still have questions about the PA Common Core or the programs that we implement here in K-6 at Collegium Charter School, please feel free to send me an email at amn at ccs.us. And as always, my email address is provided in the description box below.